In this problem, we have to find the value of the constant a so that the function is continuous everywhere. That's the goal. So find the value of a so that we can make this function continuous. So this is a piecewise function. And by themselves, the pieces are continuous. This is a parabola, it's continuous. And this is a line, and it's continuous. But if you think about it, if you take a parabola and you take a line, you want to put them together to make it continuous. So if, you, if it looks like this, that's no good, right? You want to connect the line and the parabola some way to make it continuous. And that's what we have to do uh, intuitively in this problem. So the only possible issue is at 1. So we need to make sure it's continuous at 1. So because we have like uh, inequalities, like less thans and greater thans, the natural thing to try is to focus on the condition that tells us that the limit must exist. So we're going to focus on one-sided limits. So let's take the one-sided limits and, and set them equal. We're going to force the limit to exist. Let's start by taking the limit from the left. So if we take the limit from the left, uh, we're going to use the bottom piece because that means x is less than 1. So I'll go ahead and put the f of x here. And so because we're approaching from the left, just to show an extra step, we replace f of x with ax minus 5. Right, because from the left, x is less than 1. And if you, if you don't see that, just draw a picture. Here's 1, here's x, because you're approaching from the left. Oh yeah, it's a smaller number, x is less than 1. So we use this piece. Now we can go ahead and plug in the 1. When we do that, we drop the limit sign. So it's a times 1, which is just a minus 5. Now let's take the limit from the right of f of x. And so if we're approaching 1 from the right, that means x is over here. Ah, that means x is bigger than 1. That means we use the top piece, right? What a beautiful problem. So this is equal to the limit. Notice we still write the limit sign. And now we replace f of x with 8x squared. And again, that's because we're approaching from the right, which means x is bigger than 1. So we use the top piece. We can evaluate this limit. So we plug in the number and drop the limit notation. So we get 8 times 1 squared, which is just 8. So from the left, we get a minus 5. From the right, we get 8. We want the limit to exist because we want it to be continuous. We're trying to force continuity. So what we do now is we set the limits equal to each other. That means that a minus 5 must be equal to 8. Adding 5 to both sides gives us the wonderful value of 13. And that is the value of a which makes this function continuous. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.